Welcome back everybody here to sunjournal.com and SJ Varsity, Kevin Mills, Justin Pelletier, breaking down some soccer for you. Today we're going to focus on the Class B girls spectrum and last year the Class B girls talk around here was all about the Levitt Hornets and uh, let's start there with the KVAC and the Levitt Hornets. Gone are a bunch of kids from last year but they're still going to be pretty darn good. Yeah, you know, Levitt went as far as they had ever gone before, uh, you know, winning a quarterfinal game and uh, getting to the semifinals. You know, they lost to um, uh, Bree Hammond and uh, Abby Randall, you know, two all-star players and, and as well as uh, another uh, a, a group of other experienced players. But uh, Tori Zapanchik is a former All-State player as well. She's back and he's got enough experience that I think, you know, Levitt will kind of uh, still be able to, uh, you know, keep that pr program you know, b uh, capitalizing on the momentum that they had last year. Oak Hill finally eked into the playoffs in the KVAC last year. They, they made the playoffs and uh, they lose a little bit, but they've got most of their back end returning and they're able to move a, a very talented player up to the front line and that's really going to help them out a little bit. Yeah, they, they've been one of those uh, uh, you know, snake bit kind of teams who've just been right on the edge of the playoffs the last few years. Just couldn't get in and last year they finally did. So I think you know they've got some energy from that. Darby Boya was the goalie last year and uh, that was just kind of a one season uh, uh, move for her. She's back to the front line. That's going to give them some energy and, and talent up front. And uh, they've got enough players back that I think you know, they can. They're going to be in that hunt again, trying to get the playoff spot. And they're going to need, need to kind of get the extra number of wins they got last year to get them in. New to the Class B field this year, making kind of a return appearance, so to speak, is Spruce Mountain. Jay and Livermore combined their programs a couple of years back and made the playoffs together. Uh, this year they're together as Spruce Mountain. Uh, they uh, bring back uh, some pretty good offensive fireworks, and uh, they have a very good chance of making a run in the MVC. Yeah, they've got uh, Alexa Deering, you know, played for Jay, and, and she's back this year. Uh, and, and, and they've got a, a lot of girls that have played together before uh, with this with this group, and and uh, you know they're going to be an interesting combination. See what they could do in in West in Western B, but I think uh, they're going to be very competitive and, and very strong in the MVC. And Mountain Valley, of course, their neighbor now in Class B in the MVC. Uh, Mountain Valley also looking to uh, try and get their way, uh, find their way through that MVC field. Yeah, they've got a, a decent number of kids back from last year. Uh, they've got like seven or eight starters returning. So I, you know, they, I think they have hopes they can build upon last year and improve a little bit. Two teams in the soccer-rich Western Maine Conference in Poland and Grey New Gloucester. Uh, Poland five wins last year. They're really thinking, Aaron Rand's group is really thinking they can get through that WMC field and probably make the playoffs this year. They've got a very talented group of, of upperclassmen back this year. Yeah, Aaron's kind of Aaron's team has always been kind of like Oak Hill. You know, they've been right on that, that bubble, that playoff bubble, always trying to get in. And last year they just missed it. This year they've got uh, two of their top scorers back, uh, you know, uh, another uh, solid group of uh, returning players. And, you know, if they can get a couple of key wins against some uh, WMC teams, they're going to, I think they're going to get in. Brand new Gloucester, third coach in three years for the Patriots. Uh, they also, with five wins last year, got to the quarterfinals, looking to maybe take that next step now. Yeah, they're they're kind of in that same boat. They've got enough talent back and uh, enough experience back that I think they're going to be able to, you know, compete with some teams in the Western Maine Conference. And uh, you know, like Poland, like a lot of teams, they can get enough wins, you know, that and, and get enough heel points out of them. You know, that might be enough to get them in. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin Mills, Justin Pelletier, talking soccer here at sunjournal.com. For SJ Varsity, follow us all season long for all of your soccer coverage.